Hey guys, Iceface here, and today we're playing Valor Legends once again. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be doing another account review. We're give or take over two months in now. Um, I was going to do the two month video a week or so ago, but we didn't quite have time. So I just wanted to show you guys where we're at. We haven't really been pushing too much PvE stuff. We've been trying to focus on Guild Wars side of things. I know. The PvE would, in turn, help increase our time travel increments, but we haven't had enough time to properly look at it, as I've been fully focused on organising Guild Wars and trying to progress in that side of things. But let's start off with the heroes we're looking at right now. So, as you can see, we've still got Lionel, Terence, Margaret, Diana. We have some new additions to the team. So we got the Cardellina up. Really, really good improvement for me here. This helps out in Guild Wars a lot as he's a very, very strong PvP tanky warrior. I play him at the front line. We have, when it loads up, we have unlocked his... We'll skip that. We have unlocked his exclusive weapon though. Ramiel is still doing really, really good for us. We did manage to max out the Decite Rune. Not the best stats. Um... Not the best at all, but still pretty decent. We got it to level 12. And of course, we're running the energy gathering room still. A video will be coming out on Ramiel. We did upgrade Olivia, as you can see. The light forgives all. We did unlock another Decite rune that we actually pulled in the Portal of Prey. We haven't upgraded that yet, but if I show you... So this is the equipment we're working on right now. If I show you the you Terence room, so coward. this is the Decite room we have on Terence right now. As you can see, the healing effects max, defense max, defense max. Hopefully, the next one is another healing effect of sorts. And we will be putting this Decite rune onto Olivia. Because she is really, really off. tanky. <coughs> so we will be using that Decite rune on her. Lament. Celia still has the upper hand and Berserker. We actually got one Berserker rune up to 16. This will be the next rune we are working on. We're going to get rid of this Harvest rune. And I will be putting a Decide rune on Diana. And if I show you what... So these are the heroes that I'm working on currently. Gar is going to be the next one up. And as you can see, I'm really, really close. I'm about 15k into the Portal of Prey, so... Not going to be long until we unlock that extra Gar copy. And we only need one more 5 star Shadow. And we will be able to take Gar up to the 11 star. Which of course is going to be super super good. And we can start working on the equipment and the runes. I've sort of been saving up for that. And as you can see we are still working on some certain heroes like Milton. Flora. We will be working on Flora. That is our next cause to action, is Gar and Flora, predominantly, and Eric. Um, I do want to improve my Eric. As you can see, we have one extra Eric copy, so we need another one. So we need, what's that, five more Erics to get him up. And we will be able to get him up straight away, because I'll upgrade this hero here. Nancy, I'll probably reset Isla. And yeah, that will be Eric up. Gar's nearly up. Floor is ready to go up. I just I got this guy. I just need uh, what's that? Two more Flora copies, and she is up, which is really really good. In terms of undead, we aren't actually working on anyone right now. Um, of course, for the future, there's a few people we can be working on. I'm just not too sure yet what I want to do. We're gonna have to kind of wait and see who we get because I've got the main ones I wanted to get up, which is Cardline. Margaret and Diana. We've got Bolly up as well. When I start to get more copies of these guys is when I'll reset them. But until I have enough to straight 11 star another Margaret for example, I will keep her at the 2 tier. So it's like 13 star level. Our light heroes. We did unlock Iris. But I'm not sure what path I want to go down with the lights. Um... Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure who I want to do next. It's probably going to be like Felix. 
I ain't too keen on the mages yet, guys. I haven't got many mages, as you can see. The only one what I have is Throat. Do for you, but I don't use him very much. Um, obviously, it's going to help in Guild Wars anyway, because it's another strong team. But predominantly, I'm working more on rangers and assassins and tanks. I will, of course, upgrade my armory to mages when I can. But like I said, guys, this game is not a rush. I'm enjoying the process. I'm enjoying slowly leveling them up now. And we do need to push some more PvE content to get some good rewards. In terms of Guild Wars on the account, we are going to have to update our teams because we are, so I'll skip this bit, but we are into the next stage. Well, the next round, we are come second twice and we've won all the other ones. Now, in terms of this, I'm debating going for this rune. The Red Decite Rune. Um, as you can see, at level 4 you gain 200 energy. If I show you a yellow one... Who's got it on them? The Ramiel's got it. It's 140 energy, so you're gaining an extra 60 energy with the red one. I know you've got to level it up still, but... People sometimes think that it's not too much worth it to go for the Red Decite Runes if you can grab an upper hand rune. So I am contemplating just saving up my crystal for the time being and potentially going for another upper hand rune because the one I've got currently isn't the best, but it's still usable. <coughs> I'm probably going to put it on a Suvia Sync. Something similar to that. But I really want to go for the Suvia, Selly, uh, Suvia, Olivia and Margaret the Priest combo. And that brings me down to, in the guild tech, this is what we're looking like, so 104 in the rangers, 30 in the priests, so the priests will be the next thing I'm upgrading. And these are the mages, and then assassins, and warriors, so we're going to go ahead today and push up some tech into priests, get that to 6. As I really want this skill, increasing the energy is really, really nice. It's going to really help out with Olivia, getting more of that energy off. Uh, Unlock something new. Oh, okay, it's just because it's just downloaded. Portal of Prey, we're still working on Gar, like I said before. But we're really enjoying the process. Um, if I tell you, show you my rooms quick. These are the runes we got kicking around at the minute. So, as you can see, we got the three sites, one Berserker. Our red runes, we have the Upper Hand rune, the Berserker rune, the Harvest rune, and another Berserker rune. I'm kind of feeling like it might be more value for me to buy the dust just to be able to upgrade a rune. And it would probably be the Red Berserker rune. But. I feel like getting another upper hand just for the pure base energy gain at the start. At level 16, increasing the initial energy increase by 250 is, is really good, especially for PvP. So that is something that I actually want to strive to achieve, is getting another upper hand rune. So predominantly, guys... Oh, if I take a little look at the artifacts, we've got 50, 30, 35, 30, 10, 10, 5... We haven't got the Sanctuary Heart upgraded yet, but we're working on the Stormbreaker. And these three we just get from the Expedition. We're not spending too much in the Artifact front. But predominantly, that's it, guys. Yeah, so this is the little overview I thought I'd do of the account. As you can see, we're at level 294. We have enough in the backpack. So, yeah, we have 14k evolution beads so we can upgrade to 195 uh 295 sorry so we're not far off exclusive weapons we haven't done too much into them yet but we're going to work on them progressively we're not really rushing that we have 40 medals i'm going to save up for uh be able to buy severe and that's who we'll be popping next i think anyway i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure but i feel like it will be the right move to portal of prey her next it's even going to be her or Ramiel, like I said, so... 
Not Ramiel, Felix, sorry. I'll probably go for the Felix. So like I said, I thought I'd just keep you all updated with what's going on on the account. I'm still loving the game, still enjoying it. Plenty of content to come out, guys. The new computer, I am loving it. So if you have enjoyed, guys, do consider smashing the like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the daily uploads we're doing on Valor Legends. So that being said, I'll see you all on the next one.